I'm wondering, uh, we got the uh, update from Shams earlier today. The breathing tube is out of Damar Hamlin, and he started talking to his Buffalo Bills teammates. Mm-hmm. Something like that, how that affects the Bengals. You mentioned that, you know, a, a sense of relief yesterday, but now you get something like this. It almost, and I don't want to speak for them, but I'm just wondering, you know, does this allow them then to go in with, that may be not on their mind as much as they got to play a football game, an important one against the Ravens. Yeah, that's exactly it. I, I think there'll be a little bit of trepidation and a little bit of concern in pregame. Once they start the game, it's going to feel like a regular football game. They, there's only one way you can play this game, so I don't think anybody's going to be tenderfooting it around. And as much as people like to complain, maybe the NFL did the Bengals a favor by putting this coin flip possibility in play if that wasn't maybe you see them sleepwalking through this game a little bit because they would have known they already had the the division clinched and they would host next week next week now that's not guaranteed if they lose this game there's a good chance they're they're still division champs they would have to go on the road okay what do you think the Bengals how are they going to react to what's going to happen today at noon when the owners vote on this playoff scenario uh I think they're going to be irate I, I think they're Right now, still working the phones, uh, almost like a uh, a Survivor TV show, Tribal Council, where you're trying to garner enough votes to to thwart this the, the outcome. They need they need eight eight other owners to join them. You need nine total no votes to to nix this proposal. I, I it it's interesting because it doesn't just affect the Bengals; it affects everybody. That you, you've never seen them change the rules mid-season yeah. I mean we all grew up with that annoying kid that wanted to change the rules in the in the middle of the game and now the NFL is trying to do that and I think even teams that aren't in the playoffs that aren't affected might have pause thinking well what are they going to do next time if this sets a precedent that they can change the rules in the middle of the season maybe this isn't the best way to go but also there's that delicate balance though Jay of the the PR look or public you know the public reaction to this if the Bengals are complaining about this I know Joe Joe Mixon came out and said, uh, I didn't know we could change, you know, the rules. Yeah. And he's got a point there. But I just wonder how did the Bengals approach this without that public backlash? Well, again, I it, because I don't think it just affects them. It does affect them, but um, you know, the Chiefs can't be thrilled with this because they they if they win Saturday, they're the number one seed, and then they still have a possibility of a neutral site for the AFC championship game. Um, there's a lot of there's yeah. a lot at stake here. And I, I, I think, I don't think the PR aspect is that there's there, the camaraderie between Buffalo and Cincinnati has been amazing this week. And it goes back to 2017 when, when Andy Dalton had that late touchdown pass, put the bills in the playoffs, the bills fans donated all this money to Andy's foundation. Andy in turns donates millions of dollars to the Buffalo children's cancer hospital. There's just this great relationship between the fan bases. And I, I don't think anyone would blame the Bengals for looking out for their best interest in this case. It's not going to hurt Buffalo to, to do away with this proposal. Yeah, that's th- those are great points there, Jay. 